So here we have the two sets of Dayton speakers, which I just showed you in the previous video. And what we have is the regulars that are, excuse me, the uh, first generation on, on the bottom, the originals. And then up here on top, these are the B652 Airs. And so we're going to do a side-by-side -side, uh, AB speaker comparison here. And I have the tweeters right here stacked next to each other just to give maybe a little more uh, balanced sound, sound field so you can kind of get an idea. Now I realize that I'm recording this on an iPhone and the sound quality from its, its onboard mic and whatever you're playing it through is not going to be great or exact representation of what these speakers sound like. So don't think that is what this video is. But I think you would be able to hear some differences in the tonal re reproduction by these speakers and just uh, the way in which they uh, differ in their music reproduction. For my system, I'm using a Behringer UCA202 DAC connected to my MacBook Pro. And then I have an older but still good AWA AV receiver, which is rated at 120 watts, but on my electricity meter, it could get about uh, 56 watts total. So that's about 28, 29 watts per channel, somewhere around there. So um, not quite what it's rated at, but still a decent amount of wattage. In it. And it seems to power both speakers uh, quite well. Okay. We're going to start out with the frequency test here on the original 10 hertz B652 20 30 kind of hear 40, it there it's coming real strong 50 getting 60, stronger that's good right 70, there 80 90 100 100 and really going strong 120 100 Okay, so you get the idea of that on the originals. Now we will do the ugh, we will do the airs. Ten hertz. Not twenty. Thirty. Forty. A little bit. Fifty. Real good. Sixty. Very very strong 70, right there. Eighty. So I'm sure you can't tell a whole lot of difference with this phone's microphone, but I think you'll be able to hear some little civil wars here. Good and pronounced mids, but they're still kind of muddy. Switch to the airs. He's in much fall. Little better sound stage. It sounds like the vocals are in the middle and not on the sides. I'm gonna pause before I get a copyright. Little Road Crown review. Drums sound like drums. These are the airs again. Sounds like I'm in the middle of a drum kit, not just listening to speakers. Now we'll switch over to the regulars. It's louder, and there's more sound, but it's not necessarily good sound. A little Sinatra. Warm. I get no kick. Very warm. But it sounds like a vinyl. Right? I'm sure it's recorded on a vinyl, but. Here in the air, should it be true? It sounds like I'm listening to a live performance. I get a kick out of you. Four row crown on the airs. Good highs, not too shrill, not too harsh. Here, not as much high. And a lot more mid, but not great mid. Very boomy. I can hear all of 
the notes, but they're just kind of, you know, muddy some of them. Much better on the air. Nora Jones, for some reason this is not a great recording. It has some distortion, but you can still tell a difference. I'll switch over to the regulars. Man, it's just muddy. Takaras. Little Latin music for you. For 40 bucks, these speakers are not half bad. If that's what you got, they would not be a bad purchase. But you can spend the extra 20 or 30 bucks, get the air. You'll be happy you did. Okay, for our final test here. Now this song is an MP3 from Grace Potter, Things I Never Needed, but I can tell, even on this one, the difference, and it's a, a very well done recording. If you like bass, you like kind of boomy sound, these speakers are not bad. But if you want smooth, crisp, certainly there are better speakers out there, but for 67 bucks, you can't go wrong. So that's my AB comparison of the original B652s and the B652 Airs. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.